So I'm gonna take the carburetor apart. Uh, I've been told not only was it leaking from the oil tank, but this also is gummed. And from the smell of the gasoline that's in the tank or that I took out of the tank, it's varnish. So I um, wouldn't be surprised if this is all full of varnish. So it's not really complicated. You know, you take a bolt out, put it down, take the cover and just step. I'll take this off first. One screw, one cover. And of course there's still a bit of gasoline left in it. Okay, so that piece is out. And that's done. So if you're not filming yourself like I am and you're trying to remember which way that goes, well, take a picture of it. I don't have to, I'll just re-go back to the video. But it's basically opening valve. And no major damage. This is basically the pump. And in here, we have the needle valve, a bunch of jets, and I'm gonna take this needle valve out. That's right there. And the screw. Out. course be careful because there's a spring which you'll see once I take it out okay, screw out slowly spring lever and the valve needle valve that's basically it for the side I'm going again this is an adjustment for your fuel mixture. Easiest way to remember it is just count the number of turns, close it, count the number of turns, write it down. In my case, I'm not gonna write it because I'm filming with myself, so basically the other way. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five turns, five. So I basically would write it down. Okay. Basically what you do is you take a brake cleaner through there, through there, through here, there, Every orifice you can find, you shoot brake cleaner through it. And then compress air. That's it. Gotta reinstall the needle seat, needle valve, sorry. And the spring and the fork. This is where you gotta be really, really careful as to not lose your spring. And the four screws that go with it. Your adjustment screw and it's backwards so if you remember all you do is screw it all the way in and I unscrewed it two and a half turns so five five half turns one two three four five that's a starter point and the last but not least this one this one you can't go wrong because you got dogs pins that line it up so does it go like that this way whatever right so does it go like this so that's it for the carburetor time for reassembly of the chainsaw fuel hose right here in there 
and then you just slide your carburetor in the two screws. So I'm back. So this is the choke lever. It does go in there. This does go in there. My my problem was that I had forgotten to bring this tab up, which puts tension on this. So here we go. Wave it. See, now it can actually turn it off, which makes more sense this way anyway. Line up the holes. That's it. Another one. Once you get them going, torque them in. I wouldn't use uh, power tools for this, that's definitely a must. This is a hand job. Yeah, joke, joke, joke. This is done all by hand, almost anyway. Nice and tight. And nice and tight. Kind of one of these weird. push the rubbers in without breaking anything so it's basically push that's one sorry I mean that's two not the back one there we go I don't believe the top one's in and that's it it's upside down, but this is how it fits. And the handle takes two screws. I know they're screws. Snap. That's good. Nice and tight. Not over torque. You're not screwing into metal this time. You're screwing into plastic. A little tension on it is fine. It's got a key. It's got a key, so it's got to fit into the key. That's it. Take the nut, screw it on. Get your impact tight. That's good. Twist this out so you can get this plastic piece out. Just Put these back on, these bad boys back in their place. Screw them down. So, three bolts and one screw. Screw one. Wrong torx. This torx. Short guy goes up here. Snug, good. Three caps. Those are done. Geez, I wonder what I got left. Oh, wait a second. I have a muffler that was loose to reinstall. Hmm. I wonder how this goes on. Should have cleaned it. Quite complicated. Two bolts. So one goes here. Let's slot. The other one goes here. And then you slide the muffler on. And of course, you cannot forget the spark arrestor. 
Take some of the oil that's on it a bit. So put the screen in, spark arrestor. Wouldn't want to create a fire, right? Just let me make sure everyone's seeing this. Spark arrestor. Cover of the spark arrestor tool and then you tighten it. Nice and tight. That's it. And give it a twirl. See if it starts and runs. And I throw my tools on the ground. Rusty Page, this is one for you. Moto Mix from Still. Thank you very much for the advice. For those that don't know it, you buy a new Still, doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's on gasoline, buy three liters and you get a warranty with it, extended warranty, for the price of three cans of gas. I won't bore you guys with the details of hit running or me cranking like a madman. But I'll get you back once it's running.